five inmate attacks in four days at Southport Correctional Facility Some of the attacks involve inmates throwing feces and urine at officers in the maximum security prison. New York State Correctional Officers and Police Benevolent Association has reported five separate inmate attacks against corrections officers at the Southport Correctional Facility last week. First two incidents occurred on October 4 when a 26-year-old inmate serving time for strangulation, attempted robbery and burglary was removed from a hearing due to disruptive behavior and refusal to comply with procedures. After being removed from the hearing room, he refused to walk to his cell, so officers started carrying him by the arms and waist. While being taken back to his cell, the inmate attempted to spit at one of the escorting officers. The inmate was taken to the ground with body holds but continued to resist until becoming compliant. Officers put a spit net on him and returned him to his cell. Later that day while an officer was delivering lunch, an inmate threw urine and feces at the officer through a cell. The inmate is serving a 12-year sentence for assault in Orange County and is now facing new charges. Third incident happened the morning of October 5th when an inmate threw liquid determined to be Jevity, a nutrition formula, on an officer. The inmate is serving a 15-year sentence for manslaughter in Monroe County. A fourth incident occurred on October 6th when an officer observed an inmate wearing unauthorized beads around his neck. After being told to return the beads to his cell, the inmate told the officer he was going to stick it up and became disruptive to an ongoing program. The inmate, who was already in rear-fastened restraints, dropped to the floor and was partially able to remove his restraints by getting his foot free. Officers placed leg strains on the inmate who spit an object onto the floor and kicked it away. Officers say the item was identified as a small, pen-like, ceramic scalpel blade. The inmate was observed to have a scratch on his wrist and the officers reported no injuries. The inmate is serving an 18-year sentence for manslaughter in the Bronx. A fifth incident happened on October 7th when an inmate threw liquid that smelled like urine at an officer. The officer reported no injuries and remained on duty. The inmate is serving an eight-year sentence for attempted robbery and grand larceny of an automobile in Genesee County. Brunswick County man and lottery winner who previously won $10 million in a scratch-off ticket in 2017 was convicted on Friday, May 27, for first-degree murder and possession of firearm by a felon. 54-year-old Michael Hill was taken into custody in Southport on November 23, 2020 after shooting Key on a Graham in back of the head, while she was lying in her hotel room bed. Graham was reported missing by her mother and her body was found in Sure State Hotel in Charlotte, where surveillance footage from the hotel showed Hill was the only individual in the room with her. Hill reportedly confessed to murdering Graham after finding texts from other men while they were staying at the hotel. He stated he and Graham were in a romantic relationship for a year and a half after he won his lottery ticket. D3 The Southport Correctional Facility officially closed its doors Thursday afternoon, forcing hundreds of inmates and staff to relocate to various prisons across New York State. Southport Correctional was a supermax prison, which is a step above maximum security.